So, my dear light workers, it is so, so important for this new year to keep in mind that you are not going to be able to help everyone at the moment that you want to help them. Um, I am the first to put up my hand because very much like a lot of people who you offer help to who, who or who you see kind of, you recognize very quickly what they're going through and you want to kind of immediately bandage the situation and, you know, um, heal the situation. It's not really about your time, nor is it about time itself. It's really about when they're ready, it will happen. But the universe needs to kind of allow them to learn their own lesson before you come in. And you kind of like you later in the, the healing process. So what that means is, I'll use myself as an example. From the ages of like, I think the age of 25, I started discovering the spiritual stuff. But nowhere on my platforms did you ever see anything related to the pain that I was going through. I, like everyone else, was doing trends. I was sounding like them. I was, you know, making videos like people. I posted pictures where they posted pictures. Like anything that was the trend on social media, I did it. I was part of it. When people approached me and said, you were this, you were that, you were meant for more, I never ever believed it because I was that person I, who I am now for people in their DMs people were that to me so they would say stuff like Nathaniel you funny you funny but that's not your thing and I'd get upset and I'd be like who the hell are you to tell me what my thing is I know what I'm doing not realizing that that was my ego speaking so when people react like that with me I swear it's like literally talking to myself it's like holy shit Nathaniel look at how you're reacting they reacting just like you so 26 go by, 27 goes by, and a whole five years had to go by before I realized at the age of 30, when everything needed, to, literally everything that I thought was right and where I had control in my life, that had to equal my downfall. But the only person that would recognize it is me. And that's what the universe does. The universe sends you to an extreme and they do extreme things. So it's either through death in the family death with someone close to you, it's either with something really tragic happening to you, you falling pregnant, you becoming a father, you um, going through an abortion, you um, losing a job, they will literally create a circumstance that only you can point to yourself and say, yeah, it was me. I am the reason why all of this happened. If I did change this, that, 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 it would have been better. And when you feel empty and have no one to turn to, and the only person staring in your face is you. Then the person kindly says, cool, I'm going to stop depending on me and I'm going to start seeking for alternative help. And that's where the universe steps in and says, hey, Nathaniel, there's someone, there's someone that needs your help. We're going to point them your way. And then I pop up and someone was that person for me. So don't be surprised. When someone you meet in person, whether it's a family member, whether it is someone on social media, don't be surprised if you see their, their, their pain and you want to help them immediately and they just reject it. They don't respect you. They react negatively towards you. Don't be surprised. They, like many of you, because if you're an empath or a psychic medium, you've had your own troubles. They've gone through what you've gone through and they're just in that beginning stages of slowly uncovering. So obviously their day is going to come, but it's not now and it's okay. Don't ever drill it down their, their throat and say, yeah, you're going to see what's going to happen to you. You don't want to listen. Don't do that. Let their own world and let the universe teach them the lesson over time because it needs to. The only way they're going to realize this is if time goes by and the universe just does this, but they don't realize it. And like I said, you can offer all the... Me! They are watching this video right now. I've offered free readings. I've offered um, to, 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 to just help them. I've offered life coach sessions. I said I will help you consistently. And there's some that will help, like literally take the help and use it. And the result has been amazing. Again, you're not going to see it because it's their private business. Um, but then there's, there's, there's those that won't. That won't you know, open up to it so easily, but it's not their fault and it's okay. The day will come and it's the, on that day where you open your heart with so much love and so much light and you welcome them in. You don't throw any kind of shade their way. You don't make them feel worse because they're vulnerable already. It takes a lot for someone who was so thick headed to finally come around and be like, I'm sorry, I get it. 
And trust you me, it has happened in my, I literally can write a book about how many times it's happened. So I know from experience, not only watching it, but also being the person that it will happen whether they like it or not. Life will show them who's boss, always. And it might not happen at 30 for them. It might not happen at 40 for them. It might happen at 50. They might be 21 now, 22 now, and their aha moment only comes 20 years from now, 20, 10 years from now. It doesn't matter when it happens. The important thing is that healing must happen when they are ready for it to happen. That's the most important thing. So when, like whether they 60, 50, 40, that does not matter. Healing just needs to take place. As long as you can always make sure that we're going to save a soul, we're going to heal a soul, we're going to let them feel accompanied by the universal presence that we carry in our, best, in our vessels. That is the most important thing. When? Don't worry about that. That's not for you to worry about. Let the universe work with you. Don't work against the grain of the universe. Okay, so as a light worker, always keep this in the back of your mind. It might not even be people that's too far from you. It might be family that you witness clearly needs help, but you cannot help them unless they go through what they need to go through. You can't force. You can only quietly watch and kind of just walk, walk with them. And that's what the universe did with me. I kid you not, they watched me go through dodgy things and hurtful things and painful things and they wanted to intervene but they couldn't because I wasn't open to it. So they let me go through it. But they were there. They were walking with me all the time when I was lost, when I was in pain, when I was going through all the heartache. They were there. And finally when I broke, when anything breaks, there's an opportunity to kind of go in. And that's what happened. So people need to break before they will be open. It's really that simple. When they break, that's not, that's not your concern as a light worker. It's just that they break at some point. And whatever comes in must be pure light. And that's where you step in. Alright? Happiness.